Sure, this is Nicole. Hey, Nicole. <laughs> hey, Wanda and everyone else. Nice to meet you. I do see one name I recognize. Thank you so much for doing this. Like, really, really thank you. Um, I think as we are transitioning into being homebound and physical, I like to say physical distancing instead yeah. of social. Mm -hmm. I really hate that they coining the term social. Yeah. Because if anything in my life, I am actually connecting more with people now than I ever have. Uh -huh. I'm really being intentional with my connections. So I don't like to say social distancing anymore. We're physically distant. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so I appreciate everything you said. The one comment I wanted to say is about the sleep thing. Like that is really, really something that's worked. I personally made changes where I don't watch TV in my bedroom at all. I only watch TV in the living room. I use my bedroom for like, if I turn it on, I put like a YouTube video of like sleep sounds mm -hmm. or the ocean or positive affirmations. The only thing I allow myself to play and it's made a difference. I get in the bed and I fall asleep and I don't wake up until the morning and it's beautiful. I remember like half waking up, just sleep hygiene was horrible. Mm -hmm. And it makes the day so much better when you rest at night, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you pulling that out because I think it's one of the pieces of life that people overlook. Yeah. Sleep is not important, but sleep can tremendously change everything about how more present you are during the day, your mood. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, naps are great. Sleep is great, but you got to have your room because the brain... Uh, works on cues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if your room becomes a sleep sanctuary, your brain knows, okay, I need to rest. Yeah. Instead of being confused about, am I watching TV? Am I playing? Yeah. Am I doing this? Mm -hmm. And that is what keeps people restless at night because yeah. your body doesn't know what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate you mentioning that. And again, I'm excited about the next four weeks. <laughs> I say we keep doing this forever. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? There's no reason why we couldn't. Uh -huh. This is like just having great conversation, reminding people like we are a part of a community where like as much as COVID is like pushing things away, it's also bringing us together. Which yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm really, really excited about all the cool innovations that are going to happen because people are forced to yeah. think differently. So thank you for this, Wanda. And I'm looking forward to being a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? Hey, Wanda, this is Jim Albright. Hey, Jim Albright. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. I just want to uh, thank you for taking the time to, to do all this. I was diligently taking notes on everything you said, and um, it, it's really neat because there's lots of seeds in there. And, um, you know, as I was typing what you would say, I'd have another thought, you know, that'd be my own that was related to it. And yeah. so uh, just helping on this journey. And, and I know for a fact, you know, what you say is, is true. And then uh, a lot of times it's just hard to implement truth mm -hmm. or to work it out. And, um, you know, the structure and the calendar, I know that's true. And um, uh, I need to do more of that because I'm kind of a spontaneous person. Yeah. And um, being spontaneous 13 hours out of a day can be kind of hard. So it's good to uh, get some structure in there and say, I'm going to do cert uh, something, you know, at a certain time. So just thank you for everything uh, related to that. I loved how you um, were talking about all those um, ways we can get um, and then just trying to figure out how to get out of those ways mm -hmm. or those feelings or emotions and figure out the path. And I was, uh, I went on a, um, walked this morning through a trail and uh, came upon a sign and, um, you know, it was, it gave you two paths to go and that was the easy path or the more difficult one. And um, a lot of times, you know, we do choose the easy, but you know, this time the more difficult one has kind of been chosen for us. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we can grow a lot in that. And um, so I'm just uh, thankful for you taking the time to, to give us this space to, um, you know, learn more, you know, just the, the data and the stats you went over with the coronavirus. I appreciate those, uh, hearing those, you know, especially the North Carolina data. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 I, just, I just wanted to say thank you for, for, 
always been an inspiration to us and, and keeping us uplifted. And, you know, you're always there. I, and I love, love, love you. I adore you. Oh, um, my goodness. Thank you. I, I, wa I want to thank you for bringing up the fact that we need to do self-care because I'm one that I have so much on my plate and I'm always taking care of everybody else. Um, I, had a, I have a tendency to get burnt out. So thank you so much for bringing that back up. Um, I'm going to take heed. <laughs> but um, I'm on my way to go distribute food bags again. Um, so, yeah, I, I just love you and I just thank you for everything. Um, and this is awesome because, you know, it gives us a way to vent or get information that we may not be getting from the media, you know. So um, I'm grateful to have you as one of my lifelines. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and you go deliver those food bags. Thank you for what you're doing. And we'll see you next Saturday. Absolutely. Absolutely. You all have a blast. Oh, hey, Tanya. <laughs> I wanted to shout you out real quick, love. <laughs> it's good seeing you again, love. It's good seeing you, too. <laughs> God bless you all. Stay okay. safe. Much love and blessings. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> Yeah, I will just say, I you talked about having the cabin fever. Um, I'm still waiting to have that cabin fever, unfortunately. <laughs> the past two weeks, the past two days have been the first two days that I've actually been able to stay in my house, which I've been craving to be able to just stay in my house and not leave out. And so I'm waiting to have that cabin fever. So I appreciate your um suggestions on what types of things to do when that happens but I'm still waiting for that to set in actually I would I'm at the point where I actually would love for the cabin fever to to set in because that means I have stayed in my house long enough for that to actually have happened so yeah so thank you for that you're welcome and I hope cabin fever doesn't happen but you know yeah yeah Anybody else? Yeah, because I was going to say, I was like, actually, you know, you can be home and not have it. <laughs> yes, you can. That's yes. what I'm, I've been home three weeks, girl. So yeah. you, can, you can be home and not have cabin fever. So I don't even wish that on you. I do wish you to be home and enjoy your sanctuary of your space. Yeah, that's what I wish for you coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody has to have cabin fever. Mm -hmm. One day, just have to bring it up. Well, I've, I have gone into trying to clean every oh, no. inch of my house, so <laughs> oh, no. we'll see how far I get. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Okay, anybody else? What's that face you making? Sleepy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. Say hey. All right. Angie, are you trying to say something or you're good? I just wanted to say I'm definitely going to take you up on those apps. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you all very much. I'll follow up with my an email and uh, make sure that you have the link. <laughs> so, oh, my dear baby. Oh, yeah, my baby. Uh, oh. Fat poodle bear, yeah. poodle bear. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right, everybody. Have a wonderful all day. You all you be blessed. Bye. 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 Bye